Okay, good morning. Hi, so we are uh, getting ready to start our third big renovation project of the morning today. And now what in the world are we going to do next? It's about this dining room table. It is, our it's dinette about set. Dinette. So I think if we would have had, if the, if the Apex would have come with the booth dinette that took up less space, we probably would be okay with it. Yeah. But this U-shape takes up more than half of our living space. And it's granted, huge. yeah, it's huge. Granted, we could sit four people at the table, but if we have guests, oftentimes we want to sit outside. We have entertained guests in here. And so on those rare occasions where you want to eat inside, it's been helpful. And we sit around often, you know, playing games playing of games. some sort. So we definitely wanted a table. We want a table. We a definitely table need a table is important to us for work, for playing games, whatever. We want a table. But in the end, this is too big. And the other reason we wanted to keep it is, like I said, guests for eating, but also sleeping. Like, this is the only extra bed we have. Because we already took out our jackknife sofa, which right. was also served as a bed. So we got rid of that to put in right. recliners. Because originally, the Apex sleeps six. But honestly, when you look at this RV, six people is, for us, too crowded. Now, you may have an Apex. You may have one that's this small, and it fits great for you. It's just for us, it's a little too small. So we want some something a little bit more modul modular movement, something that moves a little bit. So, so we uh, made a run last night to Ikea and we purchased a new table and two chairs. And uh, we're gonna be looking for a bench to add to that also. So we have some additional seating so we can seat up to four people here. Yeah, because let me talk about that for a second. The storage that's underneath here will obviously be use losing, but we don't use it anyway because it's awkward to get in there. One, if you've seen our uh, Instagram feed, if you've seen, we have a cap tower that we keep in front of the one cabinet. So that's not gonna work. And we don't access it from under here. It's just too awkward. So the benches are gonna be great because they're gonna give us seating that we can move around the space if we have guests, because with this Apex, everything's in a line. So we can move it and we can store things, which is fantastic. I need usable storage space. Like there's storage underneath here, but who's gonna climb under the dinette? If you do, good for you, but I guess I'm gonna play that I'm too old for that part. <laughs> <laughs> we found that it's not been useful space for yeah. us. So our next plan here is we're going to take all this out and take it apart. Um, deconstruct all of this, which is probably going to take a little bit to figure out. And put in a new table that's just going to be floating free in the RV. Yeah, and the table expands. So if we We'll show you all that once people, we get it put yeah. together. What are you going to do with the table, Brian? Um, I'm thinking that this tabletop is going to be converted into a cover for our stove. So I'm gonna have to do some engineering here, cut it down, create a little box that'll go over the stove. Uh, and that's gonna be a whole nother project that's for another other day. One, but that that's exciting. We were thinking about using a butcher block, but um, when we were looking at this table, we thought, man, this could be absolutely perfect for us. Yeah, so, so we'll, we'll see. see if that works. I don't know, uh, that's gonna take some creativity and engineering that I think I'm up to, but we'll see what happens. I think he is. All right. All right, here so comes the demo. Let's start demolition. Whole thing put together. Slide it out here. Ooh. Slide it out. Yeah, let's pick it up. And one of the things we really liked about this table is that this pull your mouth, this opens up and we have a little weave to go here. 
to expand it this way. And then the nice thing is, this little leaf. Awesome. Yeah, that needs to flip upside down. Yeah, I think that's what I saw. Maybe it should stay up. Did you pull it? Yeah, it's pulled it's fine. It's this way. Probably that way you're not scratching the top too. Slides together. There we go. Get your chair. My chair. Now our thought process is we're gonna put no, bench gonna, I wanna scoot. Side. Yeah, we got to work it's off center, but we got to yeah. worry about where it's going to go. All right. Um, so IKEA, you saw how it went together. Um, there was some problems here because there was one piece that was pre-assembled mm -hmm. that was pre-assembled wrong. So I had to take it apart, and it was glued. So then I had to knock the glue. Fortunately, it wasn't something that was so bad that we had to go back to IKEA to get a new piece. Yes, we we're going to reupholster the chairs to make... match the curtains. Yeah. So that'll be nice. That'll be nice. And then, okay, so you, you saw that some of the paneling came off. But, wallpaper, wallpaper. Um, but I've already been on Amazon and I've picked out something. Uh, we're going to put up a wallpaper on just the slide out that will um, give this slide out uh, a whole different look. And I think we're going to move the table over here and then we're going to put in theater seating. We'll re we're going to work on that next weekend. So, so we're going to have a bench of some sort that we're going to have by next yeah. weekend. Uh, for storage to replace our storage issue yeah we're gonna have new seats next weekend and we're gonna re-wallpaper this wall next weekend which means all of our stuff will come down and then go back up we get to invest in more command strips yay mm -hmm. drink <laughs> <laughs> so uh this i think was, what how much did the, this we started this we demolition started at about 11, 11 o'clock and it's almost two o'clock right now we took a couple of short breaks I had to do a bunch of cleanup clean yeah. to uh, finish disassembling all the bench pieces. But three hours. Uh, it took about 20 minutes to take the bench out yeah. and then about another half hour to kind of take it all apart. And we're saving some of the paneling pieces. So we've got some spare paneling. Um, all the one by twos and one by ones that were inside that were the framing are going to be our kindling tonight. So we'll have a lovely nice fire, fire thanks to uh, Coachman Apex. <laughs> a very expensive <laughs> fire. That's okay. And um, yeah, and then the cushions and stuff are just going to go in the dumpster because we don't really have any need for those. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably a better way to do it, but for now, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming together. All right, we are at the Bargain Furniture Barn in Goshen, Indiana. And Gene Miller's family sews for some of the manufacturers, oh, yeah. and he's opened a liquidation center. Oh, yeah. okay. You found our new chair? Mm. Oh, yeah, we found new chairs. It, this is awesome. It swivels. Oh. The first step of this wallpaper project is obviously removing everything from the walls, including the curtains and the blinds. Cutting the wallpaper down to size was a relatively easy project. And by the way, we've put the link for this wallpaper down uh, below in the description. We got it on Amazon, and it's kind of really more of a peel and stick contact paper type uh, application. But it seems to stay, have stayed up really well so far.